I would like you to do now is just um, take a piece of paper, and now you are, each group is, you're a scientist, and you're designing a new creature for human being. And, and what I would like you, your specific expertise is to make this human being alive through stressor events. So what you need, you know human anatomy. You know, you know the heart, the lungs, you know muscles, you know digestive system. You know all of these systems in our body. And you need to design a software, a program, that help this human being survive in a stressful event. So, for example, in a stressful event, you know that this creature would need more oxygen, <coughs> yeah? So, which system needs to rise <coughs> to supply the demand? Circulation. Sorry? Circulation. Circulation. So, you, you need to, in your program, you need to say, okay, when there is stress, remember this person who pressed the button, mm -hmm. the red button, stress button? So now you're programming all the wires that goes from. Where where's these wires go to? Goes to the lungs, maybe? Goes to the heart, maybe? Goes to where? And what's the effect on these organs? Let's think about the heart together, OK? So one of the wires, when you press on stress, one of the wires would go to the heart. What do you think the effect would be on the heart of stress? Found quicker, yeah. So, do you do you see where I'm going with it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? Cool. Go, go for it. Okay, scientist, are you ready? So, instead of giving you what the body does when it's stressed, I want you to work hard. Because you will remember it a lot better. Yeah? So the task was really to design the stress um, response in our body. And I gave an example of the heart. But we'd like to do it together. And we need to think about, say, how the body responds to stress. Now, one thing that the body is really need to consider is where it gives the energy, and when it takes away the energy. And what do I mean by that? The body needs to do a lot of things. It needs to, to grow, it needs to repair, it needs to digest food. Certain things are a must. Yeah, you can't just say, wait. Wait for the heart. Ah, let's leave. Let's not give blood to the heart. You can't do that. So there are some organs that are vital. And it's important for us to start thinking about the body in, a di in this way. I mean, is the skin as important as the heart? No. Most of the time, no. Although, sometimes the skin is very important. But on, on, on a stress event, it's not that important. The skin is not that important. Now, one note about stress. You design the body response to stress as it appears in evolution, say, millions of years ago, stress was usually very short. The stressor will appear fast, and then more likely there would be a solution. Either you die or you survive. <laughs> very simple. Yes. Very cheerful, isn't it? <laughs> now, in modern life, stress is different. And we'll talk soon about modern life. In modern life, stress is different because it's usually a prolonged stress. It might not be as severe as life and death, but it would be prolonged. Okay. So when talking about energy, just be sure to understand that um, usually energy in stress, you need to think about short term. What happened in the next, say, half an hour, okay? This is the fighting happen or whatever, okay? So let's, let's get some ideas. So let's start with the heart. So, so you, as a design of a stress 
respond in our body. What do you think should happen in the heart when, um, when we encounter stress? Stressor. Beat faster. Beat faster. So faster beat. Anything else? The heart? Oxygen. Beat faster. So oxygen would run faster. Yeah. Pumping blood. Um, so pumping blood faster. Fantastic. Anything is about the cardiovascular system. Um, let's think about circulation. Yeah. So circulation. Your blood cells will start to dilate to let more oxygen in. I didn't hear about that, so I can't comment on that. Okay. Right? So it might be what Paul's saying that there would be more oxygen coming into the blood cells. Um, what else? Well, that's true. Isn't it? Why would the veins or arteries dilate more? Than yeah, but it's not the blood cells. cells. It's, not the cells. Oh, okay. it's not the cells. It's the arteries and veins. Yeah. So what do you think should happen generally in the circulation? It should increase. What, what, yes, what does it mean? So there's more blood going to the muscles. Okay, so is it, the circulation is fluid, so the fluid should run faster or slower? Faster. Faster, faster circulation. So that means more blood <coughs> circulation. It's like traffic, the traffic speeding up. Yeah? We might come back to it, okay? I want to hear from you. What other things should happen when you stress? Breathing. Breathing. What should happen to breathing? Faster? So more inhalation, exhalation, maybe even deeper breath, yeah? Have fun. <laughs> so are you stressed now? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so so what? If we breathe faster, then what do we get more? Oxygen. Oxygen. And what do we get less? <coughs> Carbon dioxide. Seems to be good, isn't it? Cool. What else? What else happened to you when you're stressed? Think about your body. What Please, else? Muscles. Muscles. Sorry? Muscles. Let's start with muscles tense up, okay? <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Muscle. How do we say in a nicer way, in a more massage therapy way, muscle tense up? Muscle, muscle tone increase, right? Um, now, why? Why the muscle tone needs to be increased? Preparation. Preparation. Yeah. Protect your organs. Some of protection, you know, you kind of protect. Yes. Helping the blood circulation as well. Um, yeah. That might actually. Do you remember the towel? Uh, when we did that, the more tone you have in the muscles, the less blood getting in there. Yeah. It's interesting because you're helping venous blood to come back to True. heart if you, if you work for, I don't know, cars. Yes. And it's just kind of like a pump. Yeah, you, you're absolutely right. So um, in, when you're walking, these relax, relax and contraction, relax and contraction help. But not when you just <coughs> tense like that. This tends to have a negative effect on muscle blood circulation. But if you are um, working in a dynamic way, like even exercising when your muscles relax and stress, that, that does the pumping effect. Okay? Muscles. What else? Your immune system is less effective. So let's talk about immune, and this might be surprising. 
immune system. Now, it seems when you stress, does it make it make sense that your immune system would be more active? Because what is the immune system does is protecting you, right? <clears throat> However, the immune system protects you against bacteria and viruses and even toxins. Now, you can't deal with this in one hour. Now you need to deal with something less so, 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 something different, something different. So, although the immune system is important for protection, when you stress, the body wants to take all the energy it puts in the immune system and put in muscles, put in the heart, in circulation. So, that is the reason why in stress, that remember it's a short time, it designed for a short time, the immune system will reduce activity. Of course. Um, so if, if a person is generally quite a stressed person and they've got a high pressure job, is that why they're more likely to pick up infections and things like that because of this situation with immunity? Yes. <laughs> yes. Now, yeah. now, so what the question was, why someone who is quite stressful, I mean, the person who has many stressed events, will end up being more sick, yeah, with bacteria, infection, viruses. The, the reason is that on a short term of one-off stress, there would be no problem. Immune system stop for half an hour, you relax, the immune system start working. However, if your stress never stop, do you see how long-term effect viruses and bacteria can take advantage of it and actually infect your body with the guard is reduced activity. The immune system is reduced activity, hence you're gonna get more infected. This is one of the things that stress has bad publicity. On a short term, stress is wonderful. But if you have it too much, you see where a situation like um, this question brought, brought a problem. Make sense so far? Good. Cool. Is the um, digestive system the same as immune? Fantastic, thank you. We got two to, two to the price of one, yes? So, digestive system. Good. Reduce activity. Yes. What, is the, what is the rationale? I mean, don't you need energy? It's, it's, it's prioritizing. Short, it's short term. Prioritizing. Short term. prioritizing. Short term, even if you don't eat, you have enough storage energy as glycogen, as fat, for a good few days, you know? What are you talking about? Why do, you get, why do some people get that feeling in their stomach, that tight? You know sometimes some people yeah. feel... When you stress? Mm, stress. Yeah. 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 That, that, that is, we'll talk about the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system. We'll talk where it is and it gives you that sense. But also, not all people, some people feel it in different ways. Some butterfly here, some like, it can manifest in different ways, but definitely it happens. Okay. Sexual, sexual demand for that. Yeah. Reproductive system. Sorry? Reproductive system. Yeah, so reproductive system. Um, <laughs> any other systems? Nervous system, be careful because this is where the boss is. <laughs> so you, you want to kind of, they may fire you <laughs> with this project if you're telling them, oh, you don't need you. <laughs> Question. We were just talking about the digestive and urinary system. Yep. Sometimes in a real like life threatening situation, people or you know, people tend to urinate themselves yep. and or defecate. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
Why? How? Yeah. Why? Is it like Ooh. muscle constriction out of um, the do, 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 do. It does happen. Um, no, maybe okay. there is lack. Is I don't know. Okay, I know that it happens. I don't know how to explain yeah, so that in the sense of no, like why the body does it. But people it's do it's funny things when it's stressful, I guess. Yeah. You know, so I, I don't know exactly. It's just part of the digestive system because we were talking. Mm. It slows down, uh, but at the same time, yes. it's one often. It's maybe just like, you know, let's get rid of, of if, everything, of yeah, everything yeah, because yeah. if it's stressful, yeah, we need to deal with less of yeah. it, yeah, yeah. maybe? Yeah. Okay, one more system that gets reduced is the skin. When you stress, what's the color of the skin tends to be? Paler. What does it mean? Lack of blood. Why? Lack of blood, yes. So, skin... Yeah? Now, <clears throat> now, all of this system, I'm saying reduce activity, um, it's kind of a lack of blood, yeah? But yet we have an increased circulation. Yeah. Now, we have reduced circulation, but we're seeing here, lots of this circulation goes to certain organs and reducing circulation in other organs. Yeah. Prioritizing, yeah? yeah? What we see here is prioritizing. Good. Anything else? Just what I think is the eyes. Sorry? The eyes. Eyes. <coughs> what happens to the eyes? Dilate. Dilate. More light. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Hormone systems? Like hormone hormones. Yeah? So Hormone change. Um, Hormone production to like stressful hormones. Yes. Cortisol, adrenaline. Or mm. like yeah, so you have more different hormones, different hormones more stress hormones. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Alert as well. You become more alert. So the nervous system that here we want to fire. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, the, the nervous system receive a lot of blood because it. When you're thinking about it, the tiger is coming, your eye should be open, your alertness should be 110%. It's not the time to say, oh, yeah, well, maybe later. So you're, it's almost like, bang, your Does focus suddenly. Make your reflexes sharper. Reflexes sharp, yeah. You're almost agitated. Mm. It's like age. you're kind of yeah. shaking sometimes. Have you been to this situation? Yeah. Yeah. Like you almost accident or something, you're kind of like you're like ready to to to, to just run, mm -hmm. and that's what happens. Also, how about saliva glands? Do you not you don't produce as much saliva? You dry up. You True. Dry yeah. Up. True. Digestive system. Yeah. So reduce activity. One one part of it. Yeah. The dry mouth. That kind of. Yeah. Well, this is a good start, guys. This is almost like 75% of what you need to know. There are other things that we'll deal with, um, like the liver, what happened in the liver, what happened in the blood pressure, but, you know, you know it. <laughs> <laughs>